Yeah. All right, so welcome to Password Wellness. Our presentation today is called One Size Fits You. We're talking about exercise and about wellness, how that fits in. Come on, we're not, we're just getting started, so. Um, so we're going to talk about exercise primarily and how you can make exercise fit you and be more of a lifestyle thing than just something that you have to get done sometimes. So we're going to start off um, talking about why we exercise. Like what are some good reasons to exercise? Um, for one thing, there's a lot of health benefits that come on exercise. Um, exercise factors into your metabolism. That's a big word for the energy turnover in your body. Um, and it helps you control your weight. Um, so that plays into how we, what our bodies are made of. Um, exercise is going to change the way that we use our fat and our lean body mass. And lean body mass is a big term for, um, for your muscles in your body. Um, so uh, exercise is going to help you uh, manage your body weight and help you to keep a healthy body weight. Um, and if you need to lose a little bit of weight, it's going to help through that. Um, as well, it's going to help prevent diseases such as um, like lung diseases, heart disease, diabetes, that sort of thing. Anything that associates with how the body functions, exercise is going to help reduce your risk for those kinds of diseases. Um, also, osteoporosis is a big thing later in life for a lot of people, um, especially women in our population. So um, exercise is going to help decrease your risk for um, osteoporosis paralysis later in life because exercise, we, we put weights on the body and stuff, um, it helps increase our bone density. Um, some psychological benefits, um, exercise feel, makes you feel good, uh, boosts your self-esteem, and uh, you know, it's just a great way to enjoy life and be fun. Um, exercise is also a great way to manage stress. Finals are coming up, so when you're like thinking about, oh, I got this final, this final, this final, I have no breaks. Um, you know, exercise would be a great way to, you know, either get in before your finals or maybe after your finals and just not think about anything for a while. So, you know, going into the gym and pounding away or getting on the treadmill, the elliptical, anything like that, is really going to help you boost your self-esteem and help you to just kind of focus on something external, not something that you're engaged with all the time, like class. Um, also, it helps boost boost your confidence. So, you know, if you exercise, the more you exercise, the more you're going to feel confident about yourself. And you're going to, it's going to pour over into other things as well. Um, some other benefits of exercise. Um, exercise helps the body, the way your body works. Um, so, you know, like if you're constantly utilizing those uh, metabolic pathways and stuff, um, it's going to help you feel more energized. Also, you're going to get better sleep patterns. Um, so, when you kind of go into the gym one day um, and work out for about an hour and a half or you know, even just 30 minutes, you're going to go, you're feeling more, a little more exhausted, you go home, you sleep a little better. So that improves our sleep patterns and that's another way that we feel more energized after you exercise. Um, finally, it's a great way to spend time. Um, you can have fun doing it. It's not something that always has to be, oh, I got to go to the gym. Um, it's it can be a fun way to spend time, it can be recreational, it can be something that you enjoy doing, um, and it can also be productive, so it's, it's good for you, and it's not a waste of time. So. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the recommendations of exercise. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, one I'm going to explain to you is the FIT principle um, for cardio and resistance training, which is strength training. So the fit principle is frequency, intensity, time, and type. So the first time I'm going to talk about frequency is the number of days per week you should, you should exercise, and we'll go into it more in detail in the next slide. Intensity is how hard you work, moderate, 40 to 60%. Vigorous is greater than 60%. Um, next is your time, and this is the actual amount of physical activity that you plan on doing that day. Um, and then the next after that is type, in which we're going to get into more detail about that, what you guys like to do, what fits you best. Um, oh, let me show there. Down on the bottom, if you, if you ever get into pressed in and you're trying to figure out what your max heart rate is, what is moderate and what is vigorous for yourself, we have a little formula over here. I don't know if you have a pen and you want to jot it down or not, but I'll kind of explain it to you. You take, 
yeah, it's on the bottom of the slide also. You take 220 minus your age. So say you are 21. So 220 minus 21 will be 199. So that's your maximum heart rate. The next thing you want to do is if you want to calculate, you know, the minimum of vigorous activity, you do 199 times 0.6. So that'll be a heart rate of 120. If you want to do, we usually say you don't want to go any over 85% of your maximum heart rate. So if you want to get a good range of vigorous, for 21 to be 120 at the minimum, and then you take 199 times 0.85, and that equals 170. So a good vigorous for somebody the age of 21 would be 120 to 170. Do you have any questions about that? Okay. Okay, so the frequency for aerobic exercises, like we said, vigorous is greater than 60% of your max heart rate, and we're trying to get it three days a week. The next thing is moderate, which is 40 to 60% of your maximum heart rate, and we'd say a good recommendation for that is five, about five days a week. So you want to try to get three to five days a week mixed between moderate and vigorous activity. Then we have intensity and time. So like we said with the frequency, um, intensity is moderate and vigorous exercises, moderate 40-60%, um, vigorous greater than 60%. And then time for health benefits, it's good to get about 20 to 30 minutes um, per day during that three to five days per week. And then for weight loss, it's good to get five to 60 or greater, minute, great, greater minutes per day for a weight loss. Okay, and then the fit principle for strength training is all on one slide. We have frequency is two to three days per week. Uh, the reason we have two to three days per week is we, as you see in the time, we don't want you to uh, do a day and then a day right after that. You always want to keep a 48-hour break between just to rest those muscles. Um, so two to three days per week. Intensity is two to four sets, eight to 12 reps. So kind of breaking that down. Eight reps is if you do it eight times, then take a break. That counts as one set. So two to four reps of eight to or two to four sets of eight to twelve reps. And of course, the greater the intensity or resistance, the fewer number of reps that will need to be completed. As I stated before, the time just give a break between. If you're working arms on Monday, give a break. So maybe do it. Give a 48-hour break, then you can do it Wednesday. Um, so just separate those, and you can do. Arms Monday, legs Tuesday. Um, then a type is multi joint or compound exercises. A compound exercise would be something as like a bicep curl. You're just doing one type of muscle group. A multi joint would be something like a push up. You're working your chest, your arms, different um, muscle groups. Okay? All right, so this section is about, um, I guess, getting out of, like, like, applying those recommendations to how we live life. Because, um, you know, if, let's be honest, not everybody has 30 minutes a day to go into the gym and work out. So, like, these are some ideas to help you incorporate um, exercise into your life. Um, okay, so we're going to start with some common barriers that you might hear um, when it comes to, like, Somebody says, you need to exercise, and these might be some barriers that you have to overcome in order to get some exercise. First one is, I don't know what to do. Uh, we have a great fitness center down there. Uh, we have something called, we have, we have classes, we have group X classes, we have fitness center orientations, uh, we have different exercise classes that we'll talk about at the end um, through the health fitness lab that, you, that can plug you in and get you involved, um, learn how to exercise. So that's the biggest thing is learning how to you know, learning how to get the kinds of exercise that you like to do in. So if you, if you don't know how to do cardio, if you don't know where you need, how hard you need to be exercising, um, you know, you explore the different ways. Like oh, okay, there's running and there's bike, bicycling. Um, I could do an elliptical. Or I could go walking. You know, there's all different kinds of things. And um, help, getting educated that way, fitness center again is a great place to do that. Is going to help you learn how to do that better. Um, if exercise is hard on your joints, um, figure something out where it's not maybe not so hard on your joints. Um, swimming, water aerobics, ellipticals, those are all low impact activities. They're gonna be easy on the knees and on the elbows. Uh, also, another way to 
help your joints out is doing resistance exercise. It might sound kind of strange, but um, as we talked about before, um, doing resistance exercising, like weightlifting, um, any kind of uh, trying to think, uh, body weight exercise, that sort of thing, um, those are going to increase the strength of those joints and, and bones. Um, if weather is a factor for you, it's starting to get cold, people don't like to go outside as much. Um, again, the fitness center is a great place. You can come in. It's a controlled environment. It's always going to be 70 degrees or so. Um, so you're never going to come in. You don't, you don't need a coat. Um, so you can do weightlifting. There's the treadmills and ellipticals that you can do for your cardio. Um, and there's also, we have a pool, basketball courts, racquetball courts, um, all the different kinds of things you can do. If you are outdoor and you want to get out in the rain and the, the slush sometimes, um, that's great. Uh, more power to you. Uh, go for cycling in 30 mile per hour gale. It's fine with me. Um, also, um, running. You can go trail running. There's trails around Bowling Green that you can always get on. The Greenway is a great place to go biking if you have a bike. Um, hiking, there's also trails down by the river. Climbing, kayaking, there's all kinds of ways that you can get outside and get active if, you, if the indoors are not your thing. Um, so this is another area where people might have some issues is, you know, you go into the gym and you see all these huge muscular guys pumping, you know, 30,000 pounds or something like that. Um, and you're like, well, I can't do that. I don't belong in the gym. That's not true. Um, learning what you like to do and doing what you like to do increases your confidence. Um, I see all kinds of tiny little girls in the weightlifting section amidst all the hulking guys in there all the time. So, like, um, just getting out, getting to know what you like to do is going to kind of overshadow that that fear you may have. Also, um, oh yeah, so so don't compare yourself to others. Don't um, focus on your goals and um, try to hit those. Um, don't let others impact you. Um, once you begin, again, as we said earlier, um, your confidence is going to increase. You're going to feel more comfortable. Exercise is going to be more natural for you. It's not going to be um, so awkward. Um, if you need a buddy, uh, find a friend who has the same goals as you. Team up with them and go work out with them in the, in the fitness center or at your house, whatever you want to do. Um, another great way, uh, we have group X classes at the fitness center. Um, so there's one big class. Um, they're free. You come in, you can do yoga or power pump, or you can get on a stationary cycle. Um, get your cardio, your stretching in. Um, and these are going to be great ways where you're following an instructor and they're teaching you how to do the movement and you are just kind of following along the best of your ability. You're not getting graded. It's, it's a fun time. And uh, we have a great selection of classes down there. So it's called Group X. It's one of our good programs. So. Um, okay, and then the final one, I don't have the time. Um, you're going to be much more successful with exercise um, if you actually put an effort into plan time for it. Um, so you see this big schedule up here, and I just pulled this off the internet. It's not, it's, it's not mine or anything. But it's got, it's got areas where they've sectioned off time and, and days of what activity they're planning on doing. Um, another great way is if you get home you know, from your, your day or something like that, and you just like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to sit down and watch TV for two hours. You could just take you know, 30 minutes of that, go into the fitness center and get on an elliptical or a stationary cycle and watch your 30 minute program on that. And it's a great way to get your cardio in. You're, you're relaxing, but you're also getting that exercise in. Um, another common misconception is that exercise takes a lot of time. Um, you don't have to spend three hours in the gym. Again, we said earlier that 20 to 30 minutes of cardio is a good amount just for good health benefits. Um, so it's not like you're having to cut off your arm to get a huge chunk of time out or anything. Um, and again, as I said earlier, just simply scheduling is a great place to start. If you say, all right, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I kind of don't do anything in the afternoon. I'm just going to say, take 20 or 30 minutes. I'm going to go to the gym and get on a cycle and, and just do a little bit of cardio. That's just a great place to start, even if you don't follow through with that every, every time. Um, you get in the habit of, of getting, making time for exercise. Again, as we said, um, exercise is not so much about 
getting everything in and getting like doing everything that you have to. It's about finding what you like and doing it. Um, so don't if you don't like weightlifting, don't weightlift. Find something, some other kind of resistance exercise that you like doing and do that. If if all of your friends like to run but you absolutely hate running, don't run a marathon. Uh, go start swimming or try cycling out or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you guys an example of an at-home workout that you can do just anywhere at your home, outside, in your backyard, anywhere. And the only thing you really need for all these exercises are some weights, which they don't necessarily have to be dumbbells. They could be anything from, you know, two cans of, two canned goods, you know, just canned vegetables, anything that has a little bit of weight to them. Or you can have a backpack. So if you're doing squats or something, then you can, have, you can wear your backpack just to add a little bit more resistance. But... Just use your, just be creative and try to find good things to use as weights. And also, if you guys look in your bags, there's a paper sheet of all the exercises. And you guys can follow along with me and check them out on the paper as we go along. And Santa Claus was nice enough to display all the exercises <laughs> for us, so but I'm here to explain them in a little more detail for you guys. First of the lateral raise. So this is a good example for maybe the canned goods. You can just hold two cans of peas or sweet potatoes, whatever your favorite vegetable is. Fruit, canned fruit, anything. You can just hold them to your sides, keep your feet shoulder width apart, and with your elbows slightly bent, you don't want straight elbows, it puts a lot of strain on your elbow. And you want to just raise them directly to your sides, but not above, just shoulder, shoulder height. And you want to slowly lower them back under a controlled fashion. So maybe, at the top of the motion, and you're doing the negative part on the way down, maybe give like a two second count, two or three second count. And you don't want to do any swinging or cheating, that's cheating, so you just want to raise them up slowly and lower them back down. Can Anybody? I give an example? Yeah. We have prizes for people that come up and. Uh, who's going for what? Huh? T shirts, water bottles? No, I'm talking about. Yeah, does anybody want to come up and. Yeah, show just do it. I just want to see it. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'll do it. Awesome. Yay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's see. Yep. You just stand face this way. And yep. Just hold them directly down your sides at arm's length. So if you have two weights in your hand, you want to stand shoulder width. That's okay. good. Good firm base. Get a little bend in the knees. Okay. You have your stable. Okay. And then. You just want to raise your arms straight up. Awesome. Don't, go above, don't go above the shoulder level. Okay. There you go. It's parallel. You want to slowly lower them back down. Very nice. Good job. And they're swinging. It's good for them. Okay. Right. Do you have to use that? Do you use like dumbbells or anything? Yeah, you can use dumbbells. You can get extremely cheap dumbbells at Walmart or anywhere. Yeah. You can anything that goes against gravity. Yeah. Yep. What do you want? You want a t shirt? A towel? Which one? Um, it's drop it, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. There you go, thank you very much. Very nice, this is awesome for them. Alright, let's go. Alright, next slide. Next so we have bicep curls. And this is, you know, you use the same exact weights. I mean, you can even use presents like Santa Claus did. Whatever you want, whatever feels most comfortable to you. But what you'll do is, with the same shoulder width stance, You'll hold your arms down at arm's length, directly to your sides, and you'll just, you can either alternate or use both your arms, curl straight up, and flex your bicep and hold it at the top for a little bit, maybe a two second count, just like the last exercise. You want to slowly lower it under controlled fashion. And you don't want to swing the weight up, you just want to keep your stance firm, lift, slowly lower it back down. Can you volunteer for this one? All right, come on up. Alright. If you got it, whoops, shoulder width, pull them directly down, arms in, lift them up, squeeze the top, and you want to slow the lower right down. About two count. Okay. Very good. Good. Nice. Perfect. What do you want? This one? There you go. Good job. Alright. 
Make sure the bent over rail. And this is an exercise for your back and your biceps, but mostly the back. What you want to do, same, pretty much you'll always want the shoulder width stance because this would you're going to be most stabilized in this stance. And what you'll do is bend your legs slightly and then just bend over, but keeping your back straight and don't let it hunch over anything because that's going to definitely put a lot of unnecessary strain on your lower back. You want to keep it straight and just hang your arms directly down from your body wherever they fall naturally is where you want them to be. And then you can curl your hands inward, twist them, and pull directly up and squeeze your shoulder blades together and slowly lower them with another two count. Two counts is just a good general rule. So you can come up, squeeze the shoulder blades, slowly lower. Let's try this one. Make sure everybody? It's easy, it's the easiest one yet. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's gonna have to come do it. Right. Okay. Yeah, let me get some props to work with. <laughs> oh, no. Those are kind of heavy, wasn't it? Yep. You want to bend your, bend your knees a little bit. There you go. Keep your back straight. You want to tighten your lower back up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Just let your arms naturally hang down. There you go. Good. Just come straight up. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Good. And just lower them straight down. Awesome. Very good. Look good. good. good.